Running, jumping, leaping towards love. A Miraculous Ladybug, Adrianette Fan Fiction, Part 7. Welcome to the future, me. Marinette gasped. It was her. The future her. Albeit, she was in Ladybug costume, which had changed. It was nice. Marinette admired the different uniforms silently. Hi! She squeaked out, earning slight chuckles from her future self. Meet your future team. She said, motioning to the smiling and waving individuals behind her. It was all the grown-up versions of her team right now. Hello! She waved awkwardly at them. Wow, I forgot how adorable you were as a kid. Older Shot Noir chuckled. Marinette's eyes widened and she could feel her face heating up. Was it bad that she thought that Shot Noir was an attractive adult? Um, uh, what is our, our plan? Young Marinette asked her older self, wanting to avoid gawking at her future partner. Her older self smirked knowingly at her. Clearly, it was not a passing thought for the moment. Well, we need to track down the Peacock Miraculous and pick up young Shot Noir. Marinette's breath caught in her throat. Uh, oh, oh, she stuttered out with an uneasy smile. Her older self looked at her sympathetically. That means you have to get into costume, Minibug, Bunnick said, placing a hand on her shoulder and sending her a comforting smile. Marinette did as she t was told and transformed. When she opened her eyes, she was back in the lounge area Bunnix had, that Bunnix had brought her to. It was so nice. She still couldn't believe that this would be where she would be operating in the future. At the same time, she was kind of disappointed that she had yet to defeat Hawk Moth. For the record, everyone looked to be in their 20s. So that was almost 10 years in the future, and they were still fighting. Crazy, right? To think that right now you're just jumping around from your bedroom and flying over to Master Foo's, an amused voice said behind her. Young Marinette turned around to see her older self leaning against the door flame, looking wistfully up and around. Yeah, yeah, young bug stuttered out. Her older self chuckled and pushed off the door frame. Don't worry. We get rid of that habit eventually. Kinda, she said with a motherly smile. It's crazy, Lady Ladybug lamented. They know who we are, she said. Older Ladybug nodded her head. Yeah, they do, she hummed. It's not as bad as you think. It's nice not having to act like a crazy person around our friends and making the worst excuses to leave functions. Younger Ladybug cringed, thinking of all the random things that she had sprouted to get out of a situation to go and fight an Akuma. Maybe I should spend some time trying to think of better reasons, she said sheepishly. Older Ladybug chuckled again. That would be for the best. I have an entire book. You'll pick it up about two years at a, in about two years at a store. It's pretty. Keep your eyes open, she said. The mini bug nodded. Are, are we still fighting Hawk Moth? I mean, how old are you? 24? That's nearly 10 years. Shouldn't we have caught him by now? The younger black-haired girl asked. Her older self gently tossed a ball between her hands. We have. We've caught the Hawk Moth that you're fighting. But there's always copycats and other villains. Ones without magic sometimes can be more evil. Natural human thoughts are sometimes more dangerous, deadly, and deranged than anything magic can stir up, she told herself with the poise of a wise teacher. The young ladybug's eyes lit up. Who is he? We can fight the... We can end the fight right now, she said excitedly. Her older self shook her head side to side, making her frown in confusion. Why not? Little Ladybug asked. Time is very sensitive. We can't mess with our past or it'll affect our future. Sometimes in trying to solve a problem, you have unintended consequences. 
Remember when we entered the future where Shot Noir was acclimatized? That is a future that could happen if we're not careful when working with time. I can't tell you who he is or how to defeat him because I don't know what will happen and it's too big of a change. There's a huge chance it'll mess with time. If we ever do anything involving with time, Bunnix makes sure that it won't be a major difference. It's a lot of work and stress on her. We all, none of us know much about our futures, and if we do anything involving our past, we all try and make sure it's exactly as we experienced it before, or else something big and bad can happen, Ladybug explained, her expression solemn. Her younger self nodded and sighed. That, I guess, makes sense, she said begrudgingly. Future Ladybug nodded slowly before turning on her heel and walking out in silence. Ladybug sighed, raking her hands through her hair. So, the identity of Hawk Moth was literally at her fingertips, and it would be too dangerous for her to know at this time. Furthermore, young Chat Noir slash Adrian Agress was on its way, and this young girl had no idea how she'd react to two of them. Maybe they'd be more in sync than her and her future self. It was almost like a mother-to-daughter look she was giving her, or she was giving her self. Time was very weird. Ladybug looked around the room again. It seemed like she was the only one left, probably because she was the least experienced, which is weird because normally she was the most experienced in her own time. She paced around, this time taking a bigger circle than the one she traced normally in her room. The team mentioned they were going to get the peacock miraculous. Perhaps if the sentient monster was attracted to the malac perhaps the sentient monster was attracted to the miraculous. If someone was to say use it, they could probably undo the monster for once and for all, or at the very least get it to where the team could destroy it. Whoa! A shriek was heard from outside the lounge. Ladybug cringed. She recognized that voice and the nervous feeling bubbled up in her. Whoa! Adrian said again. Clearly, he was just as stunned as she were, was, only more vocal about it. Ladybug took a deep breath to calm herself, and honestly, he really didn't do much, and left the lounge with a forced smile and ease. So, clearly you've gotten even more ridiculous, Tomcat. Future Ladybug rolled her eyes at Future Cat Noir. But you love me, Shout said with a grin. Future Ladybug raised an eyebrow at him. Sure, sure, she said in a bored tone. Shot wiggled one finger in her face. Well, why did you... He started to say before the older ladybug clamped his mouth shut with her hand. Shut up, she snapped, but it was clear she was more amused than mad. His green eyes went from wide to puppy dog like, Please, he said in a muffled voice. A firm head shake from the older bug and growl from the older cat as they turned back to their younger selves who were watching in mist, confusion, and curiosity. Look at the poor kid, the older shot noir said, pointing to himself. Said younger self looked shocked and pointed to his chest as if to say, Me? Hush, older ladybug said with a smile on her face, but it was clear it was a firm and true order. Hello, young shot noir. Thank you for coming so quickly, she said with a smile. Young Shot Noir nodded. I'm sure Bonix explained some stuff to you, but right now, we need to make a plan, Ladybug said, walking towards the control panel table, type-like table. She spoke into it, sprouting codes and names, and soon people came rushing in. Well, only a few. An older Max, Nino, Kim, Alex, and Alia. Hey guys, we're sorta of crunched on time, as most of you know, but we still need to work out a plan with the younger versions of me and Sha, she said in an authoritative leader voice. I feel like we need I feel like we need a better name for them other than just Little Ladybug or Little Shot Noir, Alia said. The older ladybug hummed. Probably, she said after a minute. But we'll work on that later. As of right now, there's two ways of getting rid of the sentient monster. One is destroying it, but that's going to be very hard to do since it is very much solid. 
and the second is retracting the feather, which is something we can't do. She said, placing her hand flat on the table. She looked around, locking eyes with each and every person. The young lady but gulped. This is who she had to live up and become? Dang. Talk about expectations. We, um, we have the, uh, Peacock Miraculous, right? She croaked out. Her future self gave her a nod. Would the Amuk be attracted to someone holding it? Technically, it's their master. Maybe if someone, uh, like, I don't know, transformed with it and led it to a place where you could destroy it without, like, hurting anyone? She continued. Her throat was dry, was starting to get dry from the nervousness. Everyone was quiet, her ideas sinking in. Well, you never cease to amaze me, young and and all. An older shot more barked a laugh and sent her a smile. Even her older self looked proud. Marvelous idea, the future ladybug said, and the minibug blushed. Okay, now all we have to do is wait.